Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, here it is. I have finally made it uh, to the Easton. This is the third of three of the last round of modern releases from Rosecraft Blades. And I tell you what, Hawkins, uh, I like it. I, I'm liking this design quite a bit. Now, I've, I've said this during the other two, um, and I, I'm being perfectly honest here. This is probably my favorite. These last three models are probably my, some of my favorites that they have, that Rosecraft has released. Um, they've just all kind of fell right into the groove of what I like. Now, like I said, this is the Easton. It's a Hawkins Rose design. And it would not be fair if I didn't congratulate Mr. Hawkins Rose on the birth of the, his first child, which is awesome. Uh, I congratulated Swag, so to be fair, I got to congratulate Hawkins. So congratulations, my friend. But back to the East End. G10 handles, uh, chamfered off very nicely, done very well, fit and finish is on point centering is on point you have an open construction you have a deep ish carry you will have a little bit of that peak sticking out there reversible pocket clip definitely liking that making our lefty friends happy it's an inset clip we have recessed screws everything everything checking all the boxes as far as the pocket clip goes now Got a nice little pop of orange there around the pivot collar. That's about our only pizzazz on this one, if you will. Button lock, as you can see. Now, this one is a front flipper only. And it flips very, very easily. The action is very, very nice. I will say on this one, there's just a tiny, tiny bit of button stick. I'll pretty much put it in that average category for button locks like i said and, and it's hard to measure because but I, I consider button locks that have just a tiny bit of stick average that, that that's because it's basically what we've been seeing um, if it doesn't have much stick at all or no stick it's above average and if it pops like crazy when i push down on it that's way below average but anyway uh, back to yes it, it's about average it's very slight it's very slight, so it's done pretty well. The front flipper, like I said, I mean, I'm just sitting here back and forth with it. Very, very easy to flip. So very well done on the design, Hawkins. I, I do enjoy that for sure. Now, we're going with what they're calling a modified clip point blade. Two-tone, of course, AR RPM 9 steel. There you go. RCM019 is your model number for this. Of course, you have Hawkins Maker's Mark there and the Rosecraft on this. I do kind of like that blade shape. I don't know. I don't know about the two-tone. Oh, what do you guys think? Tell me. That'll be our question for this video. What do you guys take on the two-tone, the two-tone blade? Tell me what you think of the two-tone blade in the comments. It'll be interesting to see. But... A uh, very good blade shape. You got a nice belly going on there. Uh, did pretty well on uh, our smaller diameter rope. Six thread, nine thread, 21 thread. It did okay. Didn't do bad. It just did okay. That's what we'll call it. But quick spec check. You're looking at roughly right about seven and a half inches. Pretty darn close to four and a half. Maybe just shy of four and a half on the handle which is going to give you maybe just a hair over three inches on your blade shape and pretty much a full cutting edge right about three inches on your cutting edge now you do kind of have a toil there not you do have a little bit of a smile going on there on both sides um, so no thumb studs or anything to get in the way of the cutting path so that'll be good for sharpening but overall build fit and finish coming in pretty well oh let's go grip length grip length uh point to point 
you're coming in at right about that three and a quarter range but then again as you can see your handle does extend back to almost a full four inches so for me I'm landing right in that point to point which is very nice those of you with larger hands of course you might be a little bit further back on that down slope but as I put it in my hand there it, it's not uncomfortable at all but you might be a little bit further back than me of course but overall fits really nice in the hand definitely digging it that that's that's my grip length three and a quarter to three and a half comes in very very nicely so there it is up against the bug out so that's a pretty good size comparison as far as blade now of course we've got this little point here on the handle so it does it's got the bug out by a little bit in the handle but not much and then of course that means the pm2 is going to be a little bit larger not a lot maybe a quarter of an inch on the blade and pushing about a half inch on the handle as far as overall length goes let's see what we have here as far as a weight it's got a little bit of weight to it not bad 4.4 not bad at all 125 grams rattle it around there a little bit now let's see here real quick see now that's where we're getting some of our weight there's no weight no weight reduction in these liners um for those of you that like a little bit lighter knife uh that could definitely be a be a point of emphasis as far as reducing some of that weight i think milling out some of those pockets you know get us down to that four maybe even sub four weight nothing too major though there it is against the carry like i said the little peak's gonna poke out of the pocket nothing too major just a little bit of peekaboo going on the pocket clip overall pretty nice catches that seam very well pretty fairly stout fairly stout clip so it does catch and retains pretty darn well overall what do i think um another pretty darn well-built knife uh, ergonomics my number one uh, no issues there no issues with the clip no issues with the handle it feels very very good in my hand now you can see i can get my thumb way out there <coughs> pardon me i can get my thumb way out there on the blade plenty of control now choking up eh that's probably not going to be an option on this one because yeah you go further and as you can see there i am i'm right on the heel of that blade so choking up not really not really an option not really needed either in my opinion i mean those of you with larger hands okay i understand maybe you'd like to in some aspects but yeah probably with this one it's not gonna happen uh action overall build quality is very very well done i mean you can see this thing's a dropper it comes down just pow locks in very nicely there is a tiny tiny bit tiny bit no side to side but there is a little tiny bit of up and down on this one. I'm thinking it probably maybe has to do with the button lock. Not sure. It's slight. It is very slight, but I can feel it. It's there. So just got to point out what I see to you guys. Like I said, it's tiny, but it's there. Um, overall, uh, really, I'm liking this design. It's fairly, I don't know it's a benign that's the word Ooh, big word wow where'd that come from it's kind of a benign design but if you guys know anything about me that's what i like i like simple i like it and it does very very well we've kind of you we do kind of have that curvature in the handle not not as much as the bofin as we saw there but still very nice contoured uh a bit so we got a, a little bit of contour going on that is nice of course you've got your lanyard hole right there they like doing that hidden lanyard post and you know our ar rpm 9 we all know that's an artisan uh steel and artisan really likes doing that hidden lanyard post so that's what we find there overall it's a good little design i, I do like it i have been very pleased with all three of these, with all three of these knives, ergonomics 
on all three, fantastic. That is a big, big point for me. Huge point, as a matter of fact. So, very well done. I, I commend Rosecraft and the three designers. We had the walleye from Swags. Uh, we had uh, Chase's Bofin. Really like that. And then, of course, now the Easton from Hawkins Rose. Very well done, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, appreciate you stopping by today, checking out the Easton from Rosecraft Blades, designed by Mr. Hawkins Rose, brand new proud papa. So, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate you. As always, like, subscribe. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price. Excuse me. Excuse me. 60 bucks. That's what it's coming in. Well, $59.99. 60 bucks, right? So, and as remember, you go over to Rosecraft Blades, use code Big Red EDC, saves you 10%, so you're getting it for what 55-ish right in there. So there you go. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.